National Guard. Yeah. What's the matter? One of the inmates is about to escape. No kidding. Who is it? Me. <laughs> Mark Holy. Good heavens, man. Oh, are you hurt? Uh, uh, no, no, not at all. <laughs> you see, my mind was so occupied with an invention that I'm working on that I didn't see your car. Oh, an invention? Uh, yes, I'm working on a self-filling fountain pen. In other words, every time you put the pen back in your pocket, it absorbs a new supply of ink, thereby replenishing itself. Of course, it necessitates carrying ink around in one's pocket. Wouldn't that be rather messy? Uh, no, 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 no. You see, we use disappearing ink. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> Uh, good luck to your invention. Uh, yeah. I must be leaving you. I have an appointment. It's all right with you? Uh, as a matter of fact, I have an appointment, too, with my attorneys in the Equitable Building. Strange. That's the building I'm in. Well, that's fine. Then ride down with me. Pardon, have you changed for a nickel? Why, uh, would five pennies do? Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> One is five. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Did I shortchange it? Oh, no. But is that you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you see, that was taken about a year ago. I, I was out of work at the time, and a man gave me five dollars to pose for that. It was originally intended to go on an advertisement for canned tuna. <laughs> <laughs> well, it certainly was a coincidence. <laughs> yeah, and a lucky one for you. In what way? Well, at least you know who your future husband is. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> when shall the wedding be? Well, now, let me see. I'm busy tonight. What about last night? Well, I had a date last night. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we be married in church? No, I think it'd be much better to be married by a judge. Yeah, that's a good idea. Then uh, when the divorce comes up, why, we're all sort of chummy and acquainted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I really must be running along. I'm awfully glad to have met you. It's always nice to meet one's future husband. Kind of handy at that. <laughs> <laughs> Say, listen, you got a pretty good break out of that machine. I think I'll try my luck. <laughs> you got a penny? No. <laughs> I'll loan you one. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> She's all right. <laughs> That's my father's idea of a joke. You see, Dad happens to own all those machines, and he put my picture in just to tease me. Oh, I... <laughs> well, then, uh, you're Miss Acme, huh? Acme? Yeah, it says Acme Manufacturing Company. Oh, no, my dad's Mr. Compton, president of the company. Oh, sure. <laughs> Acme. Gee, that's the kind of an organization I've always wanted to be with. Really? Well, the next time you're out looking for a position, why don't you drop in and see my dad? Thanks. Well, I must be going. <laughs> Where are you going? Up to see your dad. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm happy to have married you. I mean, met you. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> and that, Mr. Compton, absolutely solves the problem of perpetual motion. Now, doesn't it? Yes. yes. Absolutely. Yes. Take the gentleman wherever he wants to go. Yes, sir. Are you hurt? Oh, no, I think not. Everything's all right. Where did it hit you? 
Huh? Where did he hit you? Well, he just scraped my back a little. Oh, <laughs> let me see. Let's see. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, now, young man, if there's anything I can do, I'll be more than glad to do. Well, uh, you haven't got a needle and thread, have you? <laughs> oh, no, no. Would you get yourself a new suit of clothes and charge it to my account? Oh, thanks. Oh, Mister, I wish you'd take my boss's card so you could explain to him it wasn't my fault. Oh, that's all right, my boy. <laughs> Just forget it. <laughs> Compton. Oh. Oh, well, Mr. Acme. Oh, I mean, I mean, Mr. Compton. Uh, your chauffeur just gave me your card. It's quite a coincidence, you know. I just left your daughter a few minutes ago, and she told me to be sure and come and see you. And my, my, is she contemplating matrimony already? How much to make a year? I'm a dollar a year, man, as I'm out of a job. That's what I came to see you about. She told me that you might help me to get into something. Well, yes, I might. Have you time to come to my laboratory? Why, yes, lots of time. Fine. Come with me. Yes, sir. Oh, so this is it, huh? Yes, this is the birthplace of some of my earlier brain children. Would you like to see a few of them? Oh, yeah, I'd love it. This is my simplex fly exterminator. Fly exterminator? Well, how does it work? I'll show you. You see, the fly is attracted by this lump of sugar, and the moment he touches it, thus, the door closes and they cannot get out. And there you have it. <laughs> oh, no, not yet. Watch. Now, you see when the door closes, it makes this contact, thereby starting the electric fan. Thus. Now the fly is blown along this tunnel until he hits this wall. The pressure automatically starts the shower bath. Thus. Thereby wetting the wings of the fly so that he cannot fly. Seeking a means of escape, he climbs this ladder until he reaches the upper passageway. He crawls along. And seeing another ladder fly like, he starts down. Now, this step is loose. When he touches it, the contact is broken, putting out this light, thus. Being left in total darkness, he continues down the ladder, but unable to see that it ends, he falls to the bottom. And dashes his brains out. No, 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 no. no. He lands on this little soft pillow and is unhurt. Well, that doesn't exterminate him. No, but by this time, the flyer realizes that he's being made a fool of and he crawls away to die of embarrassment. Will you have a cigar? Oh, yes. Fine. Mm. Sit down, my boy, sit down. Now, my boy, let us take up your problem. It's just possible that in the back of your mind there may be lurking ideas that are just as sound as mine. You don't necessarily have to invent anything. All you have to do is furnish the public with some service they need, and success is yours. Yeah, that's right, but uh, what for instance? Well, now let me see. Have you ever thought of haunting houses? No, I... Why, no. <laughs> That's it. I'm sure of it. You'll become a professional house haunter and your maid. Now, what do you say? Have a cigar. Uh, thank you. How do you do? How do you do? Is Mr. Baldwin in? Yes, but he's busy right now. Oh, would you mind giving him uh, my card? Well, what is it? Well, tell me. If I told you, you wouldn't believe me. You read it yourself. What are you doing, clowning? No, he's out there. Oh, it's just some foolish racket. Tell him we haunt our own houses. Wait a minute. We might be able to sell him our graveyard site. Show him in. Won't you step right in, please? Oh, thank you. Bolden? Yes, uh, won't you sit down? Thank you. Mr. Bolden, 
The Elite House Holding Corporation was formed for one purpose and one purpose only, to fill a long felt need in the community. Heretofore, houses have been haunted in a more or less uh, haphazard fashion. Genuine ghosts are irresponsible, unreliable, and incompetent. To say nothing of their lack of organization. <laughs> My company, therefore, eliminates the uncertainty of spook procedure and places house haunting on an absolute uh, concrete basis. I might further add, we are specialists. Our service guarantees that our clients will not be pestered with uninvited guests, undesirable relatives, and unwelcome mothers-in-law. <laughs> now, Mr. Baldwin, what do you say? Just one word. And that is? Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Baldwin, and good luck. And should you ever want us, remember, the telephone number is Gravesend 0002. Goodbye, sir. Just a minute. Will you explain to me how you seemingly sat down in midair? Oh, oh, you see, that's a little device I wear that my partner invented. You see, very often we have to haunt uh, unfurnished houses and one gets tired, you know. Goodbye, sir. Uh, just a minute. Yes, sir? I know your proposition sounds foolish, but I'm going to try it. Here's the idea. About a month ago, I sold a house to some people, and now the original owner wants it back. As a matter of fact, he's willing to offer twice the amount he sold it for. If you can succeed in getting those people out of the house, I'll make it worth your while. Mm. Good day. Yes, dear. Good night, honey. Uh, good night, darling. Mm -hmm. Pleasant dreams. <laughs> Yes, this is who? This is Mr. Baldwin. Oh, yes, Mr. Baldwin. My partner just started off on that job. Well, just a moment. Now, listen. I've been thinking about this job, and I'm just a little bit worried. What? You're afraid it won't work? Why, Mr. Baldwin, this firm only does first-class work. However, if it leaves your mind any, I'll augment the job with my own presence. Ha <laughs> 
No wonder these strange things are happening. That man's a lunatic. A lunatic? Yes, I met him only this morning. He's as crazy as a bed bug. I'm going to call the police. You! Well, what are you doing here? Well, I'm here taking care of some business for your father. What are you doing here? Well, I live here. You live here? Yeah. Where's your father? He's telephoning. I'd better find him. Oh, better be careful. There's a dangerous lunatic in the house. A lunatic? Yes. Oh. the difference. Don't be alarmed. You like her, don't you? I'm crazy about her. That is, I'd like her, yeah. <laughs> and you'd like to make a hit for the father, wouldn't you? Sure. All right. I'll tell you how you can do it. Listen. <laughs> I get the idea. Yeah, Are you hurt? Oh, Are you no, hurt? no, I'm all right. It was quite a struggle, but I got him. Let me out, I say. I won't. You will. I won't. You will. Oh. oh. 